Okay. So let me ask you a question. What is conceptual design? This is the iceberg image where the tip of the iceberg, three, four layers are present. Correct. Have any of you asked yourself this question that why does Uber have a map like interface? Why can't it be a listing structure? Why can't it be some other kind of interface? Why do every cab application in the world have a map like interface? मानिक ने सही बात लिखी है मैप दिखता है तो लोगों को फील आता है ट्रैवल का कि मैं एक जगह से दूसरी सो वेन एवर यू थिंक ऑफ ट्रैवल द थॉट दैट पीपल हैव इन देयर हेड इज आई वांट टू गो फ्रॉम ए लोकेशन टू बी लोकेशन एंड व्हाट इज द मोस्ट लॉजिकल कॉन्स्ट्रक्ट व्हिच विल गेट बिल्ट इन योर हेड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू विजुअलाइज दैट दैट इज अ मैप दैट्स द मोस्ट लॉजिकल वे टू that is why you consistently start thinking towards conceptual design right ki what is the what is the image people will think about when we are essentially building this product for them we don't have to build something which is completely flipped right and if you do a poor job in conceptual design kitna hi acha information design bana lo however good the interaction design however good the visual design nobody is going to use it because they cannot relate to the product so i'll give you another example <clears throat> how many of you have heard about this product called superhuman so superhuman is an email client it's a billion dollar company right and their conceptual design was their thought was that email in general is not something strategic in people's life email for most people is like a task कि इफ यू गेट एन ईमेल वेयर योर मैनेजर आस्क्स यू समथिंग अबाउट समथिंग यू इफेक्टिवली आंसर दैट अक्रॉस एंड इफ यू वांट टू डिस्कस समथिंग यू इफेक्टिवली बुक अ मीटिंग दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू डू 95 96% ऑफ द केसेस राइट 4% देयर माइट बी स्ट्रेटजिक डिस्कशंस ऑन ईमेल आल्सो बट 95% केसेस ईमेल इज मोर लाइक अ टास्क कि यू माइट नीड सम डेटा यू माइट टू गिव सम फीडबैक यू माइट टू वांट टू ऐड समबडी एल्स इन द थ्रेड सो इट्स मेजरली अ टास्क राइट so they thought how people do tasks effectively people do tasks tasks i'm talking about task task and tactical cheeze and strategic cheeze do alag cheeze hoti hain tactical things essentially mean which is a task you have to do this this that if you have to essentially prepare for an exam you have to do these 100 questions like writing a prd is a task but it has some strategic element also but practically anything that you essentially can break down at a cellular level is a task email 90% of the scenarios it's a task that you have to give information you have to receive information you have to probably add people right now do you know what they did they said let us build if the conceptual design is that people think of emails as a task why don't we build the product like that so when you use superhuman it only shows you next 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 what is the next task what is the next task what essentially happens because of that is that people end up cleaning their entire email structure into us because they they are not seeing anything else they are not going to any other thread they are just seeing what is the next task i want i want to do the next i want to do next i want to do next and essentially if you have 10 things to read you essentially cover all 10 so from a conceptual design perspective they did a lot of research to understand how people perceive because their goal was very clear ki can we essentially declutter the e- email inbox like completely their goal is inbox zero inbox zero basically means a point where you essentially see zero mails zero unread mails in your inbox aur ye mere sath bhi kabhi nahi hua i'm sure nobody in the group who is actually studying there they might have an inbox zero and that is the reason they built a great product they spent considerable time on conceptual design and they said then the second part is information design how do we effectively build conceptual design we'll discuss karenge we will we will discuss all of those things how do you figure that out there's a process but what is conceptual design ye baat sabko clear hai conceptual design is the first segue to understand how a consumer might perceive a solution to work that what is the image of the solution when you essentially want to present it to the consumer that is formed in their head based on their intrinsic motivations or whatever and what not right that is why conceptual design is really important to understand how the consumer is actually perceiving it 
सो सही में भैया फिर जैसे स्विगी वगैरह में मैप शो होता है फॉर डिलीवरी गाय जेप्टो नहीं शो करता देन इट्स ओके सो इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग सो वाई डजेंट जेप्टो डू इट बिकॉज the point is for zepto their promise is that we'll deliver it in 10 minutes why do you even care then why do you really want to see a map if if it gets delivered in 10 minutes because their value prop is different right from a conceptual design perspective if i say that something is getting delivered to you in 10 minutes you would not care where it, where it's coming from right you would say that 10 minute to hai but if if i make this 10 minutes to 1 hour at that point of time you would want to see yaar ek ghanta hai yaar to mujhe dekhna hai ki where is the person why why is the person stuck there because it's taking time it's a longer time but if it's like 10 minutes you why do why would you care i'm being very honest about it right agar main aaj ki date mein sayam uh, if i tell you that i'm going to teach you how to crack a product interview in 10 minutes versus i am going to take 16 hours right where would you plan your structure better i am asking a simple question there is a solution which helps you crack product management interviews in 10 minutes and there is a solution which helps you crack in 16 hours right in 16 hours you might have to figure out your structure your how, are you available are you not available all of those things right but if in 10 minutes would you even care do you even want to see it from a conceptual design perspective that how the structure of the course would be and stuff like that right it doesn't matter right understood so that is conceptual design the next part is information design information design essentially means on your application right how do you structure information so that it becomes consumable for the end user in the easiest possible way right what i mean by that is the same example that i gave you make my trip the same example that which i gave you across for make my trip why do you essentially see that make my trip or any website has the first thing in information architecture as from to why can't it be something else so information design basically means what relevant information would you show on the face of the product so that the final value from an information structure perspective becomes easier to discover right again i'll put it across go to amazon.com you see why search on top of it because that is how information design is that people essentially come with an intent of searching something and they essentially go there and they search it across agar unne search hi gayab kar di hoti and if there, there was no search on amazon don't you think the discovery of things would have been very less right if there was no search on amazon.com would you be ha have been able to discover the products that you essentially wanted absolutely you would have not been able to so that's why information design is critical right from a product designer as well as a product manager perspective then what is interaction design can somebody tell me what is interaction design how many of you have heard this line paytm pay 30 rupees prapt hue roz sunte ho na bahut badhiya bahut badhiya this is a classic example of interaction design the intent of that particular interaction design basically means when a consumer interacts with the product right what kind of experience the consumer has in order to understand that the value is delivered through that interaction what i mean by that is like so tell me the honest reason what what does this line paytm pay x rupees prapt hue communicate to the end user does it communicate the how, what is the what is the amount of money is that the true intent ask yourself is that the true intent to tell that there is x amount transferred or the intent is that a transaction has been done successfully what is the true intent is the intent to communicate it to the end user that 300 rupees have been transferred to your account or the intent is to tell him that the transaction which had started is now completed the end users the shopkeeper would not even care they would not even remember ki previous amount kya tha because there are so many transactions happening right but what is delightful for them is that whenever they hear this thing they essentially mean okay transaction ho gayi yes so this again how many of you have seen this apple ringtone wo jo apple ki ringtone hoti hai how many of you you must have seen that right so even if a group of 50 people if that ringtone comes across from apple you would essentially understand that oh somebody has an iphone basically interaction design is the layer when you interact with the product it gives you a sense of value confirmation of the action that you essentially want to take 
that if the product layer is telling that my value is that a transaction should be done how does the interaction effectively tell it to the end user that the actual this value has been done or not ab visual design to tumhe pata hai usme to tum maharaj ho everybody in in your ki ui to tum sabko aata hai ye to main visual design explain nahi karunga but you should definitely learn the principles of ui design it can it can have color theory what colors are good it can be about spacing of buttons it can be a bunch of things a b c d whatever not really worried about that so these are the four layers of product design that essentially a product manager or a product designer has to consistently think about in order to deliver that value a product sense question is primarily at a product thinking level that okay what can be the solution how do i prioritize that solution a product design question is that now you essentially know that this is the product layer how do i effectively translate it into a solution right looking at these four principles which is conceptual information interaction and visual design and effectively build a product layer which can essentially communicate the value that my product sense problem has figured out to the end user more effectively baat samajh mein aayi so a product design problem a product design problem is is about how do you effectively translate your product layer solution using the principles of product design which is conceptual design information design interaction design and visual design to come up with a design layer which communicates the value of the product in the least possible effort what i just want to tell you across is that this is also something that but not everything is like a product design problem right what are not product design problems like if somebody tells you how to make a landing page or how to make a edtech app or how to make an app like swiggy do you really think it's a product product design problem like if i tell you design and better experience of swiggy's order booking flow do you really think it's a product design problem the reason it's not a product design problem is because of the very same fact that the mental models or the conceptual design of an order booking flow is already prefixed it's already prefixed right so when there is not enough discovery from a consumer or a conceptual design perspective right then you are essentially building the ui practically yeah you are practically building a new ui for them with some changes with some button flow or something like that some changes in interaction design but truly it's not a product design problem product design problem is when you have an ambiguous product products and solution and then you say i will build some and then you will learn product design ki how do i think about conceptual design but if something is already pre built by thousands of engineers right their collaborative effort is anyway going to make so whenever these designers come to me and we, they say we have redesigned the netflix experience i say dude does it even make sense to even do that right does it even make sense to do that right you might bring up improvements and stuff like that and whatever and what not right <laughs> that is all fine agreed but on a practical basis it's not a problem that you should solve for to learning product design that's product improvement or if you want to do something exactly nikhil is right that is something like you want to do make a product improvement you can definitely do that right but there are hundreds of engineers which have already come up with a thoughts thought process that this might be the and it is used by millions of users right so you cannot make fundamental changes to the conceptual design layer right ideally try to do those problems like i'll give you a product design problem how do you design a bathroom for blind people assume you are a pm for dlf theek hai dlf that basically the real estate company you are told that there is a large market based out of india for 
blind people using bathrooms currently the problem is they are effectively in need of someone else to guide them which leads to conf no confidence building making them believe they are impaired and embarrassment so you are told design a bathroom for blind people so that they can effectively use the bathroom on their own now there are two constraints don't come up with outlandish solutions such as i will build a moving chair and using ai it will figure out if you do shit like that then most people would not even be able to buy this across make a viable bathroom for blind people i want you to start from what are the problems right i'll just quickly turn this into this so that you can effectively read it i'll just quickly make it slightly bigger theek hai so this is the problem take a screenshot guys take a take a screenshot so this is something that we will do right and you effectively have to come up with this so guys i'll stop here thank you very much for giving your time please like the video please share your comments please do linkedin posts as much as possible by telling what you learned from the session and next week be ready we will solve a problem together and i also want you guys to come up with what topics should i cover right it also helps me learn also right so i want you guys to come give me feedback honestly and we will then close it across thank you very much